Hello everyone, welcome back to My Sims 2 Uberhood. My name is Brianna Peppers and today we are going to be playing with the Burb family, which is somewhere, there they are. <laughs> it's been a very long time for me since I've actually set foot into my Uberhood and I really missed it, so I'm glad to be back today. And we are going to be going in with a really cute family that I enjoy playing a lot. So John and Jennifer are still together, they're still kicking, and then we have their two daughters, Kylie and Tally. These are their only two children aside from Lucy Burr, which we know Lucy is now grown and married into the Goth family. So we're gonna go in with the Burb family and see how they're doing. Here we are in the Burb household. We're gonna go ahead and cut down the walls so we can get in here and see how everybody's doing. Um, I haven't touched this household since we've done our introductions, I believe, in the last, very well, not the last video, but a, quite a few videos back. Um, looks like Jennifer really needs to use the bathroom, but the toilet's clogged. Is there anyone with enough mechanical skill? No. So she can just go ahead and use it because she has no choice, really. Um, so yeah, we only have this one bathroom over here for this whole house. I would love to be able to cut back and maybe make another restroom maybe over here or something, but there's not a whole lot of room unless I put it here in the middle. This is quite an oddly laid out house, but it was much worse before I went through and kind of did my own thing with it. Over here, wide awake, we have the youngest child. This is Tally. She is only six days away from becoming a teenager, so she just became a child. Um, she has some wants to interact with her big sister Lucy, get a pet, gain a skill point. Um, she's going to be fun to learn how what kind of person she is. Over here, um, someone with the want to go steady, which I'm going to lock that in instead of become best friends with Ariel. Um, this She's still sleeping, but this is Kylie Burb. Uh, she's my little emo bisexual queen, and I love her. Um, so far, she has had her first kiss with um, Ariel Cap, but Ariel is a little bit older than Kylie, and she's already moved off to college, so I can't say for sure whether they're going to continue their romance, or maybe Kylie's going to find someone a little bit closer to her age. Is there anyone she has chemistry with? She has one bolt of chemistry with Ezra Broke, but Ezra's already sort of um, romantically involved with Kylie's cousin, um, Grace pleasant so we'll have to see if anything happens there if not it'll be okay I wonder why your homework is on the floor oh John and Jennifer are making some being sweet in the uh, in the bathroom so John has the wants to have another baby but I really don't feel like they should have another child they already have three Jennifer is still 18 days from becoming an elder so she realistically she could have another child um, and still have time left over before she becomes an elder, but I just don't know is that something that Jennifer wants? Uh, she has the want to woohoo and she has the want to flirt with Don Lothario So she's had that locked in for a very long time um, she just maybe is feeling some attraction to Don Lothario and as most women do of course and maybe she's just feeling like a little stale in her marriage and all John wants to do is just keep popping out kids. Um, Jennifer is on her way to work. She is a paralegal, level five in the law career. John has um, flip-flopped back and forth between having a job and not, but as of right now, he's a waiter, level five in the culinary career. So the kids have just gone off to school. It looks like everyone's gone. Um, John doesn't go to work until two o'clock this afternoon. He does have the want to woohoo, I'm going to lock that in. I'm not going to lock in the have a baby, just because I just don't know how I feel about them having more kids right now. Um, especially considering the fact that their eldest daughter is married and about to have a child of her own. It seems a little odd to me to just continue having kids when you're, you know, your children are pretty much grown and out of the house. I'm sure that Jennifer especially would want to maybe have an empty nest one day so that she can do her own thing. Uh, we're calling a repairman. Oh, it looks like the repairman's already been called because it's not an option, so never mind. Repairman will be here soon. John's a little hungry. He's going to come have some breakfast for himself, and we're basically just going to chill. Um, he wants to invite someone over, so maybe he could invite a friend over before he goes to work. 
Um, he is friends with all of his, you know, his wife, his children, of course. He's also best friends with Darren Dreamer, which I think is very cute. I like John and Darren together as buddies. They, uh, they, they're a good pair. He's also friends with one of his co-workers, a townie named Katie Curtin. And Pollination Tech number nine. Love that for him. Yeah, so maybe we'll invite one of those friends over just to kind of hang out until it's time for him to go to work. All right, so John has finished his breakfast. He's gonna go call somebody up. I don't know who. Maybe we'll invite um, PT9 because, you know, he has the weakest relationship so we could kind of still build on that. They're friends, but they're not best friends yet. So we're just going to invite him over. Oh, and the uh, repair man is here, repair woman, Arcadia Bradshaw. She's fixing the toilet for us and looks like she already fixed our computer because that was broken too. All right, so he has invited someone over. He wants to invite someone over again, <laughs> but we'll wait till PT9 gets here. Now he wants to play with PT9, so. I've already clarified this in other Strange Town videos, but you're gonna hear me kind of just call PT9 like a bunch of different things. Sometimes I'm call, I am call him Polly, Pete, uh, Nine. <laughs> um, so, but you'll know who I'm talking about. All right, so hello. How the heck are ya? And he's going to instantly start telling him a joke, as he does. Maybe John really looks up to PT9 and respects him a lot. Um, you know, PT9, he really has a lot of uh, children and a big family, and he's a successful retired alien. Um. <laughs> oh, look who's walking by. It's pregnant Nina Curious. Hello. Um, so John d has no attraction to her which I think is funny he's probably one of the few sims who doesn't find Nina attractive so we're not even gonna bother not that he would of course have an affair but I don't see any discernible reason that they would need to be friends um, he wanted to play so we're gonna see if people play uh... there we go he'll play red hands with us all right now he wants to tell a joke and appreciate him and we're gonna get stuck in that endless cycle of just niceties that the Sims sometimes do, but it's okay for now because he's got nothing else to do and it's building their relationship. Right now they're just sitting at 7112. Uh, poor John, he only has one bolt of chemistry with Jennifer, which could be another reason that Jennifer is exploring other options with Don Lothario. Oh, but she only has one bolt with him too. Well, she and Don are best friends, so they kind of already have a bit of a connection. Uh, but yeah, so the people he's attracted to more are Titania, Dina, Kristen. Oh no, his best friend's wife. That's horrible. <laughs> um, Coral Oldie. Wow. Some townie, some, uh, the nanny. Yeah, so, wow, John could really get along with a lot of people if he wanted. In my old save, not in this uberhood, John and Jennifer were both secondary romance sims, so they kind of had like an open marriage uh, where they were just, they were they were still married, they still got along, but they uh, did not, or I mean they would explore other options in their marriage, and so Jennifer wound up having an illegitimate daughter named Opal with Gilbert ja Jacquet, is that how you say it? He's from Blue Water Village, which I do not have in this save and then John Burb cheated well you know he had an interaction with Heather Huffington one of these sorority girls um, when she was an adult and they had a son who I believe I named what was his name it's been too long Ethan I believe I believe it, yeah his name was Ethan man he just wants to keep telling him jokes he wants to play with Darren play with Tally uh, I do see John finally re-rolled and no longer has the want to have a baby, which is good, because, like, I usually like to try to get all of my sims the wants that they, you know, they want. <laughs> I try to fulfill all of their wants, but when, at a certain point, if I think that it doesn't suit their story, or maybe they, um, how these grades are slipping... Yes, if I don't think it suits their story, then they just won't do that. Also, I think if you have enough children. So Kylie brought home a friend, Alvin Futa. Cool. So yeah, Kylie's grades are slipping because look how much homework she has. Um, and it looks like she can't place homework on top of that one, so that's why she keeps putting her homework all over the floor. How I figure out homework 
with the teenagers is if, well, if they have the want to do their homework, then that's pretty obvious. But also if they have the desire to go to college, I have them do their homework because to go to college you have to keep your grades up. Right now, because she's still freshly into her teenagehood, Kylie still has a B plus, but if she still does not roll any wants to do her homework, she's going to be in trouble and she may not get the opportunity to go to college. So yeah, let's take a better look at Kylie now that she's awake. I think she's so pretty. She's very cool. She is a family sim and she's an Aquarius. She's kind of sloppy, kind of shy, but she's active, playful, and she's right there in between grouchy and nice. Um, I don't have a biography for her. Her turn-ons are red hair, clean sims, and she doesn't like lycanthropy. Which is good, because I don't play with werewolves in my hood. So yeah, um, Alvin here, does she have any chemistry with him? She has two bolts, so that could be something. Um, maybe we will, you know, start, oh no, we'll start interacting with him a little more. And now she's home alone with this boy as well, because uh, John just went to work. Alvin isn't much of a looker in my opinion, but you know, he could be a good boy. Alright, so things seem to be going well, so we're just going to kind of hang out, just build that relationship a little bit. She wants to call Lucy to chat and watch a movie. I believe her hobby, is, oh, her hobby is nature, but she has a lot of enthusiasm in film and literature. Okay, maybe we should play Kiki back because that'll help raise her fun and their relationship at the same time. And PT9 is still here. Maybe uh, John left him in charge of the house. He's like, hey, can you watch my kids while I'm at work? Uh, because Tally will be home soon. She'll be home at 3 o'clock, yeah. Alright, so this is going well. They're already friends. Kiki bag kind of takes forever. It's not really raising her fun at all, so we're just gonna take a break from that so that she can go use the toilet. And she's kind of sloppy, so she's not gonna wash her hands after she uses the toilet. Um, two bolts of chemistry. That's the highest chemistry she's had with anybody, I think. I don't remember what her chemistry was with Ariel, but it was obviously good enough for them to have their first kiss together. So I just kind of want to see if they interact with them with each other um, on their own at all. But first she's going to go watch TV. Maybe Alvin will join her. Um, Tally's home. Her grades are improving. She came home alone today. She really needs to potty. <laughs> she wants to do her homework. And I believe she's already learned how to study. Yes, from John. So no one needs to help her with her homework. Kylie's thinking about adopting children. Why don't you ask Alvin to join you at the television? And she wanted to watch a movie, so let's just change it. Nice. Nice little teenage hangout, just watching a movie, very innocent stuff. They're not even sitting on the same piece of furniture. <laughs> oh, it looks like Kylie got up and moved over onto the couch. Um, Oh, Jennifer needs to call Tabalt Cap and John needs to call Katie Curtin. Yes, Jennifer and Tabalt are actually friends because they work together. And speak of the devil, Jennifer is home. She just got a promotion to personal injury attorney, level 6. Citizens injured on the job need a champion, and so you live to win the most difficult cases. Powers of persuasion will get you ahead. Nice, and there's no mail or anything, so she's a little hungry. She's going to come in here and serve some grilled cheese sandwiches, and hopefully she does not burn them. Uh, her cooking skill, she only has two points, so she probably will burn them, but we'll see. And it looks like Kylie has decided to come brush her teeth. I wonder if that means she wants to kiss Alvin. She now has the want to be best friends with him, but so far no romantic interactions that I have seen. Tally's over here playing dolls by herself. Yeah. It's a pretty uh, relaxing afternoon, I like to think. I just love Jennifer. She's a successful businesswoman. I like to think, you know, as an attorney as well, she has like her own office and she probably has even like some uh, employees underneath her. So she's very happy with her career the way it's going. 
Her lifetime want is to become the law, which is level 10 in that career. Oh look, she wanted to kiss him and he um, isn't gonna get up. So let's see if he will now. Hey Alvin, don't you wanna kiss me? Hello? Okay, now he's gonna get up. She, she wanted to do it first, so let's see if he takes it. Oh look, oh yay, very nice, he liked it, cool, Oh, and that was his first kiss and now they both have crushes on each other, that is so sweet, oh my gosh, this is going well, I have the inclination, I feel the desire to um, maybe give him a little bit of a makeover, so we're going to quickly dive in, I want to see if I can maybe turn him into her little goth king. <laughs> All right, so I just gave Alvin some new clothes. I'm gonna leave his hair how it is, that's fine. Um, but as I was doing that, that I pressed play, and I see now that Kylie and Alvin are trying to come into her parents' bedroom for a risky woohoo, and I'm gonna put a stop to that immediately because I just don't feel like Kylie is that kind of person. I don't think that after one single kiss with this one boy that she kinda just met today, that she is going to wanna woohoo with him. Not to mention the fact that Jennifer is home, and she would absolutely not be allowing that to happen in her house. So we're just going to get some grilled cheese instead. And Alvin is, you know, going to take his time canceling the interaction. <laughs> but he'll be back shortly. Um, yeah, it's just not time yet for you, Kylie. You're still too young. Your mother's home. Uh, and you just met. So maybe after you guys go study for a little while, sure. Guys... Oh, no. <laughs> so, I just got this little pop-up over here. I came over to check on Alvin. It's 6 o'clock, and it looks like Alvin's been around the block a few times, because look at this. He just aged up to an adult. <laughs> no. Kylie just can't find anybody her own age. Oh, my gosh. Well, so I have this mod that allows townies uh, to age up one day if they're on your lot or on a community lot at 6 p.m. So Alvin's just been around so long that he's aged up on his own. And I'm very upset because I wanted her to go study with him, but now that he's an adult, they're not going to have those unlocked interactions anymore. So it looks like it just isn't meant to be. How upsetting is that? <laughs> also, not to mention the fact that I just bothered and gave him new clothes, and now he's aged up into something else, although I do really like his new outfit. Oh, that was... that makes me sad. <laughs> oh well. Happy birthday, Alvin. Oh, and he's still selectable! I think this happens... Uh, this happened an another time when I had a townie age up. They became selectable in my family, but I think they went away after a while. I'm going to see if I can make him just unselectable. Make unselectable. Yeah, there we go. Alright, he's not our problem. Don't worry, Alvin, you are not moving in with us. Sorry. Okay, Tal uh, Tally's getting a little more tired. She wants to do her homework, so I'm going to have her go ahead and do that now. And it's only 7 p.m., so maybe she'll come and take a bath afterwards. Oh, the phone's ringing, so I'm going to have Jennifer come answer that, please. I also note that she successfully made some grilled cheese. So tomorrow is Saturday, and that is Jennifer's day off. So is John available to talk? John's not here, actually. That was um, PT9's son, actually. That was Jack. So she's off work tomorrow, and it looks like John works from 2 to 7 tomorrow. The girls are both going to be home because it's Saturday. However, Jennifer could probably go out on the town and maybe she can invite John, or Don, not John. <laughs> she could invite Don over. Oh, let's clean that toilet as well, please. And she's gonna take a shower. Oh boy, I'm still so sad about <laughs> Alvin growing up to an adult. But what can you do? No, we're not bringing anybody home from work. Okay, and he really needs to pee pee as well. Let's throw this away. We have a lot of newspapers. Oh, and looks like Tally can't take a shower beca uh, because I already have Jennifer in there. John is throwing away the newspapers. 
that I had him. Oh, there, and there's a plate out here. Why don't you clean that up too? Um, we're gonna empty the glasses. Don't you like this little patio set? It's so adorable to me. It comes with these little um, placemats that you can click and like fill the glasses so the Sims look like they have lemonade or empty glasses. I think that's so cute. So I am sensing a little bit of a reoccurring theme that Kylie just really likes older people. She, you know, had her first kiss with Ariel the day before Ariel moved off to college. She's kissed Alvin on his, you know, 18th birthday. And it just is like, she can't catch a break. She can't catch anybody that's her age. So far, again, the only person her age that she has attraction to is Ezra Broke, and I just don't know how I feel about her getting involved with Ezra. She only has one bolt of chemistry with him, whereas I'm quite certain that he has two or higher with Grace, and I don't remember if Grace and Ezra are going steady, but I know for a fact that they are romantically intertwined, so we may just leave that alone. And we're also going to say goodbye to Alvin, because... Sorry, Alvin, but there's just no point in you being here anymore. I also see Kylie wants to gain a skill point. Oh no, Tally, that's not your bed. That's not your bed. Come take a bath and go to sleep in your bed. Alright, and John... Oh, never mind, she's not going to take a bath because she... John is going to use the bathroom. Yeah, I really need to get them a second bathroom somehow for this family of four. Kylie wants to gain a skill point, and her hobby is nature, so I'm going to have her study the cleaning skill, and that will help her, um, her enthusiasm in nature as well. Alright, John, you should also take a shower, please. And he's a little hungry, so he's going to come have um, a TV dinner. It looks like Jennifer wants to start working on her skills for her next promotion. She wants to gain a logic point, a cleaning point, and a charisma point, and those are all skills that she needs. Um, but look at that. PT9 trying to uh, talk her up, and she's not having it. She really doesn't like PT9. I don't know why. Maybe she's a xenophobe and she doesn't like aliens? I don't know. I wouldn't have expected that from her. Okay, why don't we say goodbye, please? And she's not especially hungry, but she's gonna come have a little snack. And then she and John are gonna go to bed. Oh, and Kylie has gained her skill point that she wanted. And she's getting pretty tired, so we're gonna go ahead. Oh, she wants to uh, reach cleaning level three. Well, we'll work on that another time. We're gonna have her come do her business. Uh-oh, it looks like John just got fat. <laughs> That's what working in the culinary career will do to you. You know, you're tasting all that food all the time. Oh, and she oh, she really wants to talk to Lucy, so I'm going to have her call Lucy before she goes to bed. Just for a quick chat. And John, could you please clean that up? Thank you. Hello. Clean that up. And he's going to come relax in the bed. Jennifer had the wants to woohoo earlier. She no longer does, but, you know, she wanted to earlier, so... We're going to just roll with that. She's really going to town on these cookies. Whoa! Must be delicious. Okay, enough of the cookies. Go join your husband, please. Kylie's still in the shower. And I am not going to have them try for baby, but they will be doing a risky woohoo, so... If she gets pregnant, then it was meant to be, and if not, then it wasn't meant to be. So yeah, we're going to call Lucy up and just have a little talk. And that satisfied one of her wants. Of course, now she wants to play with Lucy. She still wants to be best friends with Alvin, but I just don't know how I feel about encouraging that relationship. Alright, he is the one that wanted to woohoo, so he's just going to make the move on her. Hopefully she's into it. Yeah. Jennifer's always into it. <laughs> they weren't secondary romance sims in my old save for no reason. I don't currently play with any secondary aspirations in this hood. Um, 
I enjoy the secondary aspiration idea, but sometimes it's overpowering and then, you know, as a family sim with a secondary romance, they're rolling nothing but romance wands, and it's a little annoying. I wish that I could stack her homework for her. Um, she looks like she was having trouble putting it on the right side of the desk, so I'm just gonna... Um, hello, geez. I'm just gonna move swap these and we'll put this um, on a different wall I can't see the walls oh I have too many posters in her room <laughs> there we go that's fine okay and we'll see tomorrow if that makes a difference if not I'll just have to move it around again Okay, everybody is asleep, so that marks the end of our first day with this family. We are still only playing two day rotations. So Saturday, we're going to see what the family can get up to all on their own, and then that will be the end. Alright, so Tally's awake. She's going to go uh, take a shower. Why are you going out? No, no, no. You're going to get struck by lightning, you crazy girl. Poor thing has all the same ones still. She wants to eat a grilled cheese for breakfast, so may as well. And it looks like Jennifer and John are still waking up. Kylie, you're far too young to be thinking about babies. And if you were wondering, no, I do not have a teenage pregnancy enabled in my game. Uh, because my sims are adults for so long, they already have quite a very long period of time that they can have children. Um, and so I kind of do, I don't want any teenagers to get pregnant just to help kind of limit the population as well. Okay, so you are going to change into your PJs, please, and come grab a plate of that. John is going to be going to work. Oh, he must have gotten a promotion. I did not even notice that. Yeah, so he'll be working from 9 to 3 instead of 2 to 7 or whatever it was. So that's okay. John also has a want to get a pet. Does anybody else? No. I usually will wait until the majority of the household has the want to get a pet. Or sometimes I'll get a pet for a child or a teenager, like if it, like uh, they just grew up, maybe it's part of their birthday present. Please stop trying to go outside, my goodness. Everybody's laughing at Jennifer because she burped. All right, clean that up after yourself and she's gonna come watch another movie. Tally, you're kind of hungry. Come have yourself a little grilled cheese breakfast. And yeah, so it looks like we're just going to send Jennifer out on the town today to see if she can possibly hook up with Don. It's a little sad. You know, I don't really want Jennifer to cheat on John, but it's something that she wants to do, and I can kind of see, you know, her reasons behind it. She's experiencing this mild attraction, and she has just been with John, like, her entire life. She's probably never been with another man at all. Maybe their relationship has grown a little stale. I know that they just woohooed la- No! <laughs> Guys. Well, as I was saying, their relationship has grown a little stale. Um, they just woohooed last night, but it looks like Jennifer's pregnant. Oh, boy. Jennifer is about to have her fourth child. Oh, man. She's never going to have an empty house. She's never going to get an empty house. That's so sad. Well, you know, <laughs> I think we're still going to do the Dawn thing. It would have been more exciting if she had been able to woohoo with Dawn first, and then I would have been like, oh, I wonder who the father is. But obviously, the father is John. So that's okay. Um, we're going to... And we're not going to ask Don on a date, but maybe we will ask him to meet us at a community lot. Or we could make a group. No, let's just ask him to meet us on a community lot. It does the same function, really. I changed my mind again. We're, do we're doing the group. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm flip-flopping. Groups. Manage groups. And it's just going to be her and Don. And that way, like, he won't, like, leave the community lot before I'm ready for him to or something like that. All right. Oh, why aren't you guys getting along? Oh, I they don't have a very strong relationship at all, do they? I, For some reason, I thought Kylie and Tally were better friends, but they hardly know each other. That could just be because of their age difference, but... All right, we'll see. 
They are playing catch, which I think is really cute. Um, I think I'm also going to invite Lucy over while Jennifer is gone. Um, you know, Kylie is old enough to watch Tally on her own, but if you were counting this as human years, she's only like 14 or 15 years old. So maybe Jennifer's not comfortable with her being home alone. So we're going to see if Lucy can come over. Just invite her. Oh, Jennifer is going to puke again. Jennifer, it's going to be kind of hard. Yes, you can bring your friend. That's fine. It's going to be kind of hard for Jennifer to seduce Dawn if she's just throwing up the whole time. Oh, please brush your teeth. All right, so Lucy's on the way, and she said she's bringing a friend. So I wonder who she'll bring. Sometimes it's somebody we know, and sometimes it's just a townie. I wish there was a way to change it to where they'll only bring someone that they are, in fact, friends with. It looks like she brought Ethan Kramer, who is a townie, yeah. It looks like a young adult townie from the way he's walking. Oh, look how cute! Oh, that's just so precious. You know, Ethan, you can get lost. I don't really care. She wants to play with Lucy. Well, rub her belly. How freaking cute is that? Oh, I forgot about Jennifer. So, when you're done, please come back over here and uh, manage your group. Tally's having lots of fun on her own. <laughs> I feel bad because Tally doesn't really have anybody in her family that's close to her age. She has her cousin, Noah Pleasant, but they really don't like each other, do they? So, yeah, that's, uh, that's okay. All right, we're just going to name this group. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um, and we're going to find Don. Hello? There he is. Don Lothario. And that's it. And hopefully he's not at work. It's a Saturday. I can't recall what days he has off work. Um, meet group on community lot. Let's do... Just for fun this time. Okay, and hopefully he can come. I could have just called to see if he was home first. Do you want to... We'll take our car. Everyone will make it. Okay, cool. Um, and just Jennifer. And let's see. Are they going to go somewhere just here in Pleasant View? It's pretty early in the day. I don't know that they would go downtown. We have the park. The cemetery. <laughs> um, clothing store. The pool. Let's maybe go downtown. We'll just go to a nice, like, brunch place. I have a, the exact one in mind. Not Rodney's Hideout, although that's a good one. 125 Cafe. That's where we're gonna go. They're just going out for a nice little lunch together. It's very innocent. And whenever she gets back, Lucy will, will probably still be here and she can talk to her then. But yes, Lucy's very pregnant. <laughs> All right, and you need to go use the potty. Oh, she was already going. Are there any more grilled cheeses? No. All right, so we are going to go to this community lot and see if Jennifer can cheat on her husband <laughs> while she's pregnant with his baby, which is so sad. All right, so Dawn and Jennifer have just arrived at 125 Cafe. And the first thing Jennifer is coming to do is coming over to chat. She's already farting hearts for Dawn. Uh, but we're going to leave this kind of innocent up until a certain point. I'm kind of interested to see if Jennifer makes a move on him herself. Um, as far as I'm aware, neither of them have ever had any sort of romantic interaction. Yeah, I'm not seeing any affairs here at all. So, she saw a ghost. Oh, of Cornelia Goth. That must have been at the Goth Manor. So yeah, they're having a great conversation. Maybe let's eat. Oh, it's kind of lagging a little bit. Let's go get seated, please. Oh, Loki Beaker is here as well. He's talking about jewelry, maybe complimenting her on hers. Not that I think she's wearing any earrings, but still. Oh, and Astrid Curious is here as well. This is Pascal Curious's daughter. All right, so we're gonna get seated and get some lunch with Don Lothario. We're gonna put the walls up so I can't see into the kitchen. Kind of gives us a better immersion. Oop. 
All right, Don wants a salad. That's his favorite food, is a salad. And it looks like Jennifer wants the crepes. Okay, maybe let's do a toast or something. To us, two successful parents. Um, chef's choice, please. This Mamsie person is the person that John Burb has attraction to. Okay, food is here. Ta-da! That salad is... <laughs> looks great. It's very pointy. They're talking about animals now. I expect that, yeah, there's a witch here, which I'm surprised that there is a evil witch in the daytime. I usually see the good witches. Uh, I am going to start banning the witches with the visitor controller. Um, we are going to ban all NPCs, please. Because I am just not interested in having them, honestly. I don't play with witches in this hood. I don't play with, um, you know, any of the occult sims really at all. And they're just kind of annoying, so they've been banned. She'll disappear shortly, and we can delete this adjuster. Okay, so Don has finished his meal, and we are getting surrounded. There's Sandy Broody. Um, oh, Katie Curtin is here. She. Oh no, Katie is friends with John, so I wonder if she's going to say anything to John about Jennifer being out here. Oh, I wish it would stop raining. Uh-oh. Donna's meeting all these new people. <laughs> and these are two romance sims, at least. Sandy and Chloe are both romance sims. Um, she wants to play chess, but I don't want her to go out there until it stops raining. So maybe we'll just go over here. Try to get some privacy away from all of these people. I assume Don will follow we're on an outing. She's gonna primp herself while she waits. Oh lord. Okay. And uh, this is it, guys. So we're gonna ask Don, what do you want? And maybe if he has any... Katie, get lost! <laughs> if he has the want to flirt or do something, he wants to flirt with Katie! No! <laughs> Don, you're here for me! He doesn't want to lose someone named Christy as a best friend. Um, Katie, you gotta get lost. I'm sorry. Um, she's gonna get hit him with that suggestion, and let's see if he is interested. She also wanted to ask someone on a date. <gasps> it's getting intense! So he accepted it, and they just fell in love. <laughs> And Katie is just not leaving Jennifer alone. She wants Don. First of all, she's just interested in Don. Um, but second of all, she really wants Jennifer to know, like, hey, I'm. She's probably gonna tell. Uh, but we're gonna kiss Don because Jennifer wants to. This is horrible. <laughs> I feel so bad for John Burb. Uh, I do want to get a, maybe a, a picture, if I can. Honestly, that look on Jennifer's face is hilarious, so I'm going to get a screenshot of that. <laughs> I love it. And now she wants to make out with him and do a classic dance. Let's just make out. I wonder if she'll have the want to woohoo. That usually comes after the make out. Oh no! Who just walked by? Oh my gosh! Lucy Burb is here! Lucy Goth, I mean. Oh, no, and now she wants to woohoo with him. Should we woohoo with Lucy on the lot? We could do it in the car. Oh, boy. I'm gonna lock that in. Um, yeah, let's go sit in the vehicle. That's the best place to do it, really, is in the car. And we're gonna ask Don to join, but we can't ask... Oh, yeah, we can ask him to join now. This is terrible, Jennifer. What are you doing? Although I have to say, like, they are a very good couple. Alright, we've got to turn this rain down. It is far too loud. Okay, are they gonna do it? 
There they go. Woohooing in the car. Wow, and Mrs. Crumplebottom is here, of course. <laughs> wow, so this is it. Her first affair and her first woohoo with Don Lothario while she's pregnant with her husband's baby, but Don doesn't know that. Okay, and that's that, and she's basically done. Uh, she just wants to dance with him now. It's already four o'clock. Oh, it's hailing. Let's get back inside for a few minutes. Oops. I'm trying to cut the walls. Here we go. She really could honestly use a bathroom break. Where is she? There she is. And Dawn is coming back inside as well. Man, Dawn is just having a great day. Oh, he needs to use the bathroom too. It hasn't stopped raining or hailing since we got here. I like that Nina Curious is playing chess with Talia Cap, and it looks like Talia just cheated. <laughs> so yeah, we are going to get out of here. Katie is still here. And we're going to classic dance with Dawn because it's like the last thing that she wants to do with him, really. And after that, we're just going to get out of here. You can't hear it, but there is classical music playing. Alright, so that was good. We're going to go ahead and... Oh, I have to click on her. End. End casual group. Alright, and they had a great time. That was cool. It is nice to hang out with people who know how to have a good time. <laughs> is that what you say to someone you just woohooed with, Don? We're going to drive home. Oh, good stuff. And it looks like she'll be getting home right about, I think, when it's time for John to get home. I think he'd said 9 to 6. Or it may have said 9 to 3. I can't remember anymore. Alright, so we are back at the Burb household. We're just going to have to wait for Jennifer to get home. It says she's going to be gone for about six hours. So, um, I'm not sure what she probably told her kids. I also think it's interesting that Lucy had made an appearance at that community lot when she's here at the household. But, so maybe we're just going to pretend like that didn't happen. It also didn't seem to me, like Lucy walked right past them while they were making out and she didn't seem to have a reaction. So maybe it's possible that she just didn't see it. So, Kylie is getting kicked out of the bathroom. Tally needs to use the potty. She still wants to go study with someone. I just don't know who she would go study with. Um, maybe we'll invite over Ezra Broke and we'll just see like if he has anything to... Maybe if they decide to... I don't know. I feel like he is already going steady though, with Grace, but that could be an interesting love triangle as well, you know, like her cousin and herself fighting over a boy. Let's see if he'll come over. Is he going to say yes? He said yes. Uh, he wants to bring a friend. Let's say no this time. Cool. And for whatever reason, she also wants to learn fire prevention. <laughs> I think Talia's gonna go down for a nap. It's still very early in the day and her um, energy levels were getting pretty low. She wants to tickle Lucy. Too bad. Uh, come out here, please. Oh, I can't click on the ground here? That's weird. Probably because of this custom cement that I have. Oh no! <laughs> Looks like Ezra's gained a few pounds since I saw him last. Uh, but we're gonna greet him. Okay, and the first thing he does is walk away from her. Cool. That's already going really well. Um, she is coming to tell him a joke. Where is he going? He's gonna go dance. Let's tell him a joke. At the very least, they could become friends. Um, let me see if he is actually going steady with Grace. He's not, but he does have a crush on her. Yeah. Ezra has chemistry with a lot of people. Mason Cab, a townie, townie, yeah. We're gonna make him unselectable though. Okay, maybe she's gonna be like, hey, are you interested in me? 
Looks like he, oh yeah, look at that smile. Yeah, he's down. Um, okay, yeah, he's into this. All right, well, this is it, guys. She may be about to get herself a little boyfriend. And Grace is going to be not too happy about that, I reckon. I'm just going to keep clicking on everything that has a, um, a chemistry bolt on it. It's going to build their relationship faster, I think. And Lucy is just ignoring what's happening. <laughs> she knows her little sister's putting some moves on this guy, but she's not going to intervene. I'm sure that was Lucy and Alexander when she was Kylie's age. Okay, so they just had their first kiss. Um, Ezra's already had his first kiss with Grace. Um, I really wish that I could get her to roll a different once. She can't, she doesn't have the cooking skills to make grilled cheese, does Lucy? Because she really wants grilled cheese. Yeah, let's make some grilled cheese, please, Lucy. And I'm going to raise her energy level a little bit. And I'm going to make her unselectable because I don't want her pregnancy to uh, keep going. <gasps> no, not again. <laughs> again with this, Kylie really wants to have her first woohoo, like really bad. But it is not... It's not time yet for that, Lucy. Or, Kylie. Sorry, I'm getting them confused now. Kylie, it's not time yet. Oh no, and he gets butt naked on her parents' bed. How horrifying. True. Oh, looks like Lucy stopped with the grilled cheese. Can you please resume that? Thank you. You're also pretty hungry yourself. Uh, oh my gosh. So she was gonna hit on him. Oh, it looks like Lucy just won't keep cooking if, um, I don't know, will she? So yeah, she just hit on him. They're friends now. She's gonna try to hold his hand. Will he let it? Is he? He's into it, yeah. She's gonna kiss him, uh, suck face this time. I like this one. Oh, he has a crush on her first. Oh, man. <laughs> That's such a cute kiss for teenagers especially. Oh, John wants to bring home Aaron Pleasant? Um, sure. Why not? Aaron Pleasant is the new wife of Daniel Pleasant. She used to be Aaron uh, Singles or Aaron Beaker, whatever you want to call her. Uh, she's pregnant. Sorry, sir, no one is going to come rushing home to you. Uh, you need to come take a shower, please. And it looks like the grilled cheeses are done. Oh man, Kylie wants to woohoo with this kid so badly. <laughs> oh man, so badly they want to go at it. As far as I'm aware, Ezra's never had his first woohoo. Let's see. Um, come eat some as well. No, he's never woohooed before. He had his first kiss with Grace, and he's never like made out with anyone or anything. He's a little bit older. He um, becomes an adult in four days. Okay, so that just means he's one day older, really. Technically, I guess that makes him like two or three days older, actually, because I haven't yet played Ezra's household in this round. But at least he's not an adult. And that's what matters. Oh boy, and she wants to classic dance with him. Maybe we can flirt, caress his hand right there in front of your sister. Let's see if he likes that. Oh yeah, man, Ezra's really into Kylie. They didn't have much of a relationship when he first got here, so it's kind of shocking to me. Oh look, guys, Katie wants to talk to John, so whenever um, he's done... Oops, no, don't meditate. I'm gonna have him call Katie. Um, and we'll just see, like, if maybe she tells him. Like, hey, I saw your wife making out with Don Lothario today. Not that that's actually like a functionality of the game, but we'll see what I decide to do. Because Katie was right there. Katie is one of John's very good friends. She knows that John and Jennifer are married. Why wouldn't she say something, you know? Jennifer may be about to get into some serious trouble. He's talking about meeting people. Oh, it looks like Tally's awake. Oh, he's not liking something that he's hearing. If they talk about any like love stuff or romance stuff, I'm gonna use that as the um, the sign that he, she told him. He's talking about when he got demoted. <laughs> he 
Because again, he and Katie are co-workers, so they're probably just talking about work. Oh, and it looks like they're done. So Katie did not tell him. She really wants to classic dance with him. I don't suppose, she can't ask him to go steady yet. They're not quite there yet. Oh, it's Hailing here too, again. It looks like, yeah, Jennifer didn't beat John home. She'll be home in about a half hour. I wonder what she'll tell John where she is. Oh, and John is gonna come out here and eat. <laughs> At least there's an umbrella. So he's not getting hit with hail. No one's really talking to Aaron at all. But yeah, Aaron is actually the new wife of Jennifer's brother, so it makes sense that she would be here. Kind of getting to know the family, maybe. Okay. Let's maybe uh, do the throw food thing because that usually builds the relationship quite a bit. And it's even though it's under play, it's technically a romantic interaction. So if you have two Sims do that, that are like really close friends, they'll actually fall in love. Unless they're related, of course. What's Tally doing? She's still playing with her toys. I would like for you to come uh, talk to your sister. Oh, Jennifer's home. She's just out here in the rain, She's, but she's really tired, so she's actually going to come and take a nap, and I'm okay with that. Man, they are just really taking their sweet, sweet time with these grilled cheeses. Okay, she wants to classic dance with him. The stereo's already on. Let's see if he's into it. And he is. Which, of course, if a girl as pretty as Kylie is asking you to dance or wants to kiss you, why wouldn't you say yes? Uh-oh, no more wants for Ezra here. She still wants to be best friends with Alvin. She did have higher chemistry with him than Ezra. But, oh well. I'm really interested to see when or if the proposed go steady option is going to come up. Because, so far, Ezra is really her only option. Oh, and she's smooching him. I don't think they're ready for a caress just yet, but you can hold his hands again. Um, I'm just trying to spam these romantic interactions. And then maybe we should ask him on a date. Oh, propose is already here. Sleepover goes steady. Um, I want to check on his needs because he's been here a while yeah I'm just gonna cheat and raise his needs up a lot <laughs> he wants to talk to Kylie so we'll do that talk maybe she'll gossip about somebody I'm gonna laugh if it's about Grace <laughs> John is watching TV and y'all are playing rock paper scissors she wants to jump rope why not I'm, I feel bad because I'm kind of ignoring Tally but she's fine she doesn't really have anything going on for her. Okay. Ooh, there's the kiss. Kylie has no shame in, of doing this in front of her parents or her older sister. Alright, they're gonna gossip. And then let's ask him on a date. Just to kind of make things official. Oh, guys, I wasn't paying attention, but she did. She gossiped about Grace. Wow. Okay. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get the dine out option out of here. They already had dinner together, so that's not necessary. She's going to talk about her hobby in nature because that's her favorite hobby. He also wants to be tickled by her. I currently have the want locked in for him to win the communications fellowship scholarship. So I guess I'll leave that. Um, and maybe you can come talk to Aaron. Okay. And they want to dance, so knock yourselves out. John is over there talking to his daughter. I love how close this family is. Most of them, anyway. Maybe Kylie and Tally don't have a great relationship, but... 
Okay, now they want to slow dance. Is that an option? Yes. Oh, I was wondering why I was seeing bugs. I thought there was something on my screen, but it's a fly. The grilled cheese went bad. Uh-oh, now he only wants to have a pillow fight. What are you so upset about? Oh, because he can't get past them? Really? Okay, then. Well, they're about to break it up. So now you can go, right? Oh, my lord, John. Okay, um, the only thing they want to do now is pillow fight. <laughs> Can you go now? John! Okay, wow, whatever. Don't worry about it then. He wants to talk about his hobby with someone. Wow, he has pretty good chemistry with Erin. Well, it's one bold, but it's the same as his wife. Look how pretty she is though. Um, okay then. I don't know, I just need you to get out of the way. He's gonna come talk to her. Okay, you guys are having fun, right? <gasps> Look, he wants to make out with her. We're finally getting some romantic interactions. Oh, Lucy's leaving. Okay, she's gonna actually go to her room for this because I don't think that she would want to be doing that in front of her father. Yeah. So we're taking it over to the room. And so Kylie still wants, she just wants to appreciate him. She's gonna admire him a little bit. Um, and then we're gonna romantic hug, kiss, and we're just gonna go straight to the makeout. Oh, look at their best friends now. This is going really well. Uh, Jennifer's still asleep. Uh, oh, he wants to be friends with Erin. So let's see if we can get that to happen. We're not gonna flirt with her. He doesn't want to romantically interact with her. And then, um, you need to take a bath, actually. Is there anything for her to eat? No, you need to make dinner, John. Uh, serve dinner. Um, Maybe just some mac and cheese. That seems like something Tally would like. And over here, oh, they made out and I missed it. Oopsie, <laughs> that was really fast. Um, that was her first make out too, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, she's kissed a few people, but um, never made, uh, made out with anybody. He wants to be flirted with. Let's see if he'll take the caress. Oh yeah, oh look guys, it's a dream date. I love that for her. She wants to give him a back rub. <gasps> he just fell in love. I would love for him to want to go study as well, but as a knowledge sim, I don't know that he'll even really roll that want too much. Um, so we'll see. I kind of just want to... I'm going to do it. We're going to propose go study. This is it. He's going to say yes, I think. Look at this, look at this, oh my gosh. Oh, Not a friendly hug. <laughs> and that's that. Oh, and she fell in love as well. Oh, guys, her first boyfriend. And it's her cousin's boyfriend. I mean, to be fair, they weren't going steady, but she had dibs on him first. Um, this is not gonna end well. They wanna make out again, so why not? <laughs> Oh, Jennifer's awake. She's taking a bath. Uh, have you finished making the dinner yet? No? Okay. I'm so excited. I feel terrible about, you know, breaking up Grace and Ezra. Or who's to say that they're even going to break up, you know? Because for all I know, Ezra might become a two-timer. I don't really see that for him. But look how her hand is going in his shirt. Oh, my lord. Yeah, they had zero shame when it came to that. And um, let's see, I kind of was hoping that she would roll the wand to have a dream date. She does. So we're going to end the date. If I didn't know better, I would assume Kylie is a secondary grilled cheese sim because she keeps wanting to eat grilled cheeses. <laughs> All right, and it's 11 o'clock, so we're going to say goodbye to Ezra. And she wants to gain another skill point. I think we'll have her study... Um, cleaning again. Jennifer is pretty hungry. She's going to come eat. So is Tally. So they're going to have a little family dinner and Kylie's just going to kind of do her own thing. Yeah. Look at her go. Uh-oh, the phone's ringing. 
Um, I'm gonna have John answer that because he's been eating the longest. Yeah, he's already pretty full. I have two phones in the same room because this desk used to be in this room. It, before Lucy had any siblings, that was considered the um, like the study, and I just never, I just moved it out here and I never deleted the other phone. Okay, so it looks like Jack Smith has been very interested in talking to John. I don't know why. But I'll let them talk and then he needs to come use the bathroom. I'll have him just brush his teeth or something and then he can go to bed. And poor John has no idea that Jennifer had an affair today. Um, and so far she hasn't rolled any other once. She fears Don's death, but other than that, like, she doesn't really have anything to do with him. So we'll have to see if that was a one-time thing or if maybe Jennifer is going to continue this, especially now that she is pregnant. Um, who knows if Don's even still going to be interested because he might be a skeeval, but I don't know that he would want to, you know, continue to woohoo a pregnant married woman. Married, yes, but pregnant married, I don't know. <laughs> okay, um... So she got her skill point. I just really want her to use the bathroom and go to bed. It was a very successful day for Kylie. I'm just very nervous about how things are going to go between her and her cousin. Erin, nobody asked you to spend the night. Go ahead and leave. Bye-bye. Oh, and look, she has flowers. So let's find somewhere to put these. Let's put them on top of her dresser for now. Yeah, these are flowers from Ezra. Oh, so sweet. Okay. So she is going to do that and go to bed. And I'm just going to move her homework over there, I guess, for the time being. Does anyone have any more lifetime aspiration points? Jennifer does. Uh, we're going to give her financial advice. No, we're going to give her slower knee decay, bladder and hygiene, because she's pregnant and she's going to need that. Yeah. Um, oh, and she has a, a TV. We're going to sell that. She doesn't need it. They have a more expensive, bigger television than that. So, yeah. And does she have a... Look at this. I don't need, really need that, but I just like to see if they've unlocked their career aspirations yet. I think you usually get them around, like, level 5 or level 6. This is a chocolate maker. Yeah, they have no room for that thing. We're not gonna bother. Okay, and John's asleep. Um... Tally, whenever you're finished eating, I will have you use the bathroom and go to bed as well. So yeah, I think that was a very successful round, guys. We're just wrapping it up, getting everybody ready for bed. I'm going to put away the leftovers. Turn off the stereo, please. And maybe Jennifer, since she's in a pretty good mood right now, she'll use this time to work on those skills she wants. So we'll do charisma first. We can just practice her speech right there in the mirror. And yeah, we'll just kind of speed through that until she needs something else or until she gets the skill point. Okay, so she's a little hungry, so she's going to come serve some toaster pastries, get ready for breakfast, because it's already almost 6 a.m. Oh no, she just is double barfing. She barfed once and then again right immediately after. Oh, a third time! Oh my god, are you okay? I've never seen them do it three times in a row. Okay, I think she's done. What the hell was that? Um... Don't bother cleaning it right now because your comfort is so low. Can you just come get some leftovers? Yikes. Big yikes. She's going to have some mac and cheese. I couldn't imagine eating after throwing up three times in a row, but she's hungry, so. All right, um, and on that note, <laughs> it appears that we are at the end of this round because it is Sunday at 6 a.m., so it's time to go. I really don't want to leave. I really was enjoying this household this time, so it's kind of sad to go. But we had a very successful time. Um, John and Jennifer both got promotions in their careers. Jennifer had an affair with Don Lothario. She's now pregnant, but we already know that the father is John Burb. Which, speaking of, how come she hasn't had her first baby bump? Um, oh, she's at 24 hours right now. I want to see if... I want to stay until she gets her bump. Yes, yes, I do. And... No, no, I don't, because <laughs> she did go this entire round without the bump, so it wouldn't make sense for her to have it already um, when we go start playing other people and it's Friday again. Yeah, never mind. So we'll go ahead and get out of here. 
Um, and when we come back to this household, we will see if there is any disturbances between Kylie and her cousin Grace, see if they fight over Ezra at all, or maybe Ezra is not gonna call things off with Grace and he's gonna actually wind up cheating. Can I get rid of that? There we go. He's gonna wind up cheating on Kylie with Grace, who knows? I don't see that for him, but we'll have to see what he wants to do. Uh, next time we come in as well, uh, we are going to uh, not be seeing anybody age up, but we may get a baby. So, because John and Jennifer are pregnant with their third, no, their fourth child. Yeah. So, guys, that's going to be pretty much it. Thank you so much for sticking around, hanging out, watching everything. I hope you're having fun because I definitely am. Please be sure to like this video, leave a comment if you enjoyed any certain aspects, and subscribe if you haven't already because every little bit helps the channel grow and I really, really appreciate it, guys. Also, down in the description, I will have links to my Twitch. If you enjoy my gameplay, I do also stream The Sims 2 content on Twitch, so be sure to give that a follow as well if that's something you're interested in. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!